Hello everyone, in this video I'll show you or demonstrate you uh, some more uh, techniques uh, to troubleshoot and debug uh, uh, issues related to pod. Uh, in this, uh, at first we will see how we can see the logs from the pod, particular pod. So assuming that we have uh, some pods currently running, so Uh, so we have a pod called access deployment and we need to see logs from this particular pod so uh, from here uh, we can issue a command called, called kubectl uh, logs access deployment so uh, we can see uh, logs are reading from here if someone says that, that we, ne we need to dump this particular logs to, uh, and like someone asks to give uh, our handout uh, logs of this uh, any particular uh, container uh, like we have uh, access deployment pod. So what what we can do to ship uh, these logs to them in a file? Uh, very simple method. Uh, we, what we can do is we can we can simply say kubectl get logs and uh, pod name and when uh, and then we can say okay uh, I want to redirect to a particular file called access dot log. So uh, w once uh, we, we issue that command, everything uh, which we were seeing previous uh, previously uh, will be dumped uh, in this particular file. If I cat this file, so I can see the content uh, uh, running. Uh, we, we, can, we can see the content uh, currently placing over here. So we, we can ship access dot log uh, to anyone who, uh, who who will be asking for us. So uh, we can we can ship this file via email, via Skype, or via Google Drive, or any uh, any other method we choose to go. So uh, uh, th this is one thing we can we can dump logs. So we have some pods uh, like uh, which doesn't offers you uh, logs stream through std error and std out. So what we can do is uh, obviously these uh, these kind of containers are dumping uh, logs to a particular file. Uh, uh, so we, we can take example of one pod like we have a pod called uh, airfinder data handler so this particular pod is dumping uh, its logs to a particular file uh, if, if I say kubectl get logs so it, it won't show me the application logs it only show me that uh, tomcat logs so actually I need uh, I need a tom uh, instead of tomcat log I need a, a particular uh, containers uh, application container log uh, uh, tomcat application container log for this sake uh, what I can do is uh, I can do kubectl exec so what I'm doing I'm uh, I'm SSHing into the server and into, in, into the container and asking it uh, to provide uh, like first I will see uh, what is the file name so I'll go uh, I'll SSH into the container and see uh, a file name is a uh, right now I know I have the file name so uh, what I can do is instead of bash what I can do is cat or 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 tail space minus f and the file name that actually uh, the container has either I, I either uh, I can go and collect the file uh, file name from here or ask someone to give me the file uh, log file name uh, in either case uh, we I, I must need to have a file, log file name from I can stream the output of the logs so uh, application is dumping logs to in this particular file and I wanted to stream it outside the uh, without SSHing into the pod so uh, what I can do I can issue a command kubectl exec minus it it is same as I'm SSHing into the into this particular container but instead of getting bash uh, uh, as I did over here I'm, I'm saying uh, don't give me a bash or don't return me a bash shell instead of shell I would like to tail this particular file so what it will does it will it will uh, tailing uh, it will tail the file and it will give it will give you the logs of the of any uh, of this particular application so uh, you can see uh, I'm, I'm, I'm streaming the output of, of the application logs so uh, this is how you you can uh, like uh, you can you can stream the logs even even uh, if you wanted to dump the logs so you can you can even dump the logs uh, uh, to a particular file as well like uh, previously we did uh, kubectl for for kubectl logs uh, but right now we, what we can do is we can cat uh, this particular file to and redirect to uh, some some other file like afd uh, afh afdh.log so what it will does 
whatever it it, it uh, uh, this particular file content has it will redirect our to to this particular file so both have the same uh, same logs so it will take a while because this file is huge so it will take a while to to dump the logs so i'm just interrupting over here uh, because i don't have much time and, and if uh, if i see this uh, file so i can see the same output that uh, that i was able to see in the uh, in tail command so uh, uh, if someone asks you to give the give the log file of uh, this particular container so uh, you can just cat and uh, redirect output to upper, uh, any specific or, or any any file and then this file can be handed over to anyone the, who asked for the logs so uh, uh, we we have more dig about the logs if you wanted to change something in within the container uh, may, uh, but uh, we, we need you need to uh, ensure if the container is, is restarted your changes will be lost so uh, it is not a good idea to uh, change directly to the container like someone says okay uh, we, we we need to change uh, we need to change uh, some configuration in the containers uh, so uh, that that is never going to happen for persistently like if, if I have a container and someone says that okay uh, okay you, you 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 need to change uh, some configuration for for uh, or uh, for uh, any particular file like you wanted to change some something in the uh, entry point dot sh so if I change entry point dot sh okay, sorry come type of mistake so uh, so this will not be persistent because uh, if the container uh, restarted the changes will be lost so the good idea to change anything uh, you need to update your docker file or you need to update your deployment file instead of uh, updating the container so uh, someone says uh, let's take an example of, uh, uh, of uh, i need to restart my container my application is not responding so what i need to do is what i need to do i wanted to restart uh, some of the services like uh, I, I wanted to restart uh, this particular container my, my application is running and my application is hung and someone says uh, we need to restart the application now in kubernetes case we don't have a way to actually restart the service because kubernetes is supposed to run the stateless uh, uh, applications uh, uh, so uh, uh, it will allow it will it, it won't give you option to restart actually uh, what it gives you you can you can just uh, simply delete the container and replica set behind the scene uh, will spawn up a, uh, another container on the on behalf of it so uh, if you wanted to restart uh, a nw tool so what you can do is kubectl delete pod and the pod name kubectl delete pod and the pod name so what it does it will delete this particular container and create another uh, a new new brand new container uh, and deploy your service onto it so this container will gone off you can see it was running since uh, 25 days uh, and then if uh, i have deleted uh, this tool so if i deleted this tool so uh, what uh, what happened we can see that kubectl get pods so you can see that this particular container is running from 18 seconds so that means uh, the previous one is deleted got deleted and new one got created so eventually your application got restarted or redeployed so your purpose got fulfilled if someone says that okay we need to restart the application in kubernetes we have no uh, concept of restarting manually so kubernetes does it by itself but it won't allow you to do uh, or it, it won't allow user to do so so in, in, in our case, uh, we, we just need to delete the pod and uh, let the Kubernetes cluster to recreate it. So uh, I hope uh, this will help uh, to understand more about uh, the service management or the pod management. Uh, in later videos, we will see some more information, uh, informative uh, material related to the Kubernetes administration. Till then, thank you.